You're watching News Leader 9 with Cheryl Renee and meteorologist Greg Majeski. Let's see what it's shaping up to be like on this Monday afternoon. Ooh, Here's a look mm. from Callaway Gardens. Thanks to our Alpha Insurance Sky Cam at Pine Mountain. Temperature 50 degrees, but I see sun. That deserves to be on a postcard. What yeah, you very That's nice. Beautiful. Love, I, you know, I love the winter time or start getting toward the winter time, but just how blue the sky looks. Yeah, that's just very nice. Really nice it's kind of chilly up in Pine Mountain though this morning. 27 up there this morning. Wow, the that's the good news is uh, you know we got some warmer weather coming. In fact, uh, probably not going to be feeling like, like uh, Christmas, Christmas at by all. Time huh? we head to the weekend. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's take a look what's trending with our forecast right now. Sunny, uh, but a bit cool day out there right now, but not looking too bad. We are looking at a big warm-up coming up this week. We'll show you that on the seventh day. And we're looking at weekend rains again, unfortunately, in the form of some thunderstorms as we get into the official start of winter. And it's going to be kind of feeling more like spring. We'll show you that here in just a second. Here's what's going on. we got this big trough of low pressure here. So the cold air coming down out of Canada is filtering across the eastern half of the United States. What's going to happen this week, well, is that jet's going to start to shift back to the west and dip down toward the west. It's going to rise lift up out of us and allow the warm air to kind of build up a little ridging across the southeast and that's going to lead to some unseasonably warm temperatures heading into next weekend of course now a lot of folks were asking is that going to be sticking around to christmas if you go to my facebook page i went ahead and put a poster on there kind of take an outlook that's like nine ten days away so i put it out there for you look right now the dollar nine radar network all clear out there for today in fact it should remain that way all through most of this week now we're currently at 50, 48 over to Auburn. It's not 37 at Tuskegee. That stick's been messing up this morning. 47 Lagrange, 51 degrees in Eufaula. As we zoom out and take a look at elsewhere, other conditions across the southeast. A little chilly, 45 up in Huntsville, 44 in Atlanta, 53 in Augusta, and 55 degrees along the coast in Savannah. Looking at your satellite radar imagery, looking at uh, just a few clouds there, kind of slowly burning off here across the Alabama Georgia line, but generally looking at clear conditions, complements of high pressure that's building it across the area. In fact, because of that area of high pressure, we're not going to see a whole lot in the way of activity on future casts. As I go ahead and kick this into motion, you can see looking pretty dry right into Tuesday, and it'll continue right into Wednesday as well. Not expecting any precipitation of any kind or any real significant cloud cover uh, for the next couple of days. So if you like the sunshine, you'll enjoy the weather, and temperatures will be responding as well. Here's our forecast here for East Alabama for this afternoon, generally into the 50s to right around 60 degrees. Overnight lows dropping down to the lower to mid-30s, a bit of a chilly night for tonight. Here on the Georgia side, we'll see temperatures in the upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. And overnight lows again into lower to mid-30s, 36, 37 degrees or so here in the Columbus area. Southwest Georgia, looking at temperatures, highs in the lower 60s for today. Overnight lows into the middle 30s. Of course, Fort Benning being the cool spot there down that little valley there at Lawson Army Airfield. Forecast seven days. So here we are, checking them out. Here we go, warming up into the 60s, 63 on Tuesday, up to 68, so close to 70 degrees by Friday. And then Saturday, which is the official start of winter, I got my little snowman down there to kind of show that, but that snowman is going to melt really melt quickly. Big time. Yeah. <laughs> 72 degrees on Saturday, <laughs> 73 on Sunday, with the chance of some scattered storms those days, but above normal temperatures. Now we'll give a little Looked at, I was looking ahead for Christmas. Looks like temperatures will cool off. Cool it will off. not okay. stay that warm, but uh, definitely not going to be seeing anything like a white Christmas. Not this year. Not this year. Not All this right. Year. Thank no. you so much, Greg.